going on YouTube quick video today so there's a man named John I think his last name is pronounced Cisna I'm not 100% sure on that John Cisna so John is a high school science teacher in Iowa and he had his students design him up a meal plan if that's what you want to call it and he was going to prove that you can lose weight by eating nothing but McDonald's for, I think he did it for 90 days. <clears throat> so, basically what he did was he drastically cut his calories. So, he reduced his calorie intake to 2,000 calories a day. 2,000 calories a day. Um, so, his typical breakfast would be like egg whites and oatmeal and then a salad for lunch and then at dinner he would actually you know eat something he would actually have supposedly anyway he would have like a quarter pounder with cheese meal or whatever and um and basically he was just trying to prove that it doesn't matter where you eat it, it's the amount that you eat that controls your your destiny in terms of being overweight and unhealthy so this guy dropped this is according to him, uh, 37 pounds in 90 days on his McDonald's regimen. And so was it the McDonald's food that, that made him lose weight? Well, anybody, especially somebody that size, because this was a pretty large gentleman to begin with, anybody that size, anybody in general who's going to lower their, lower their caloric intake to 2,000 calories a day, is obviously going to lose weight, significant amounts of weight. On top of dropping his caloric intake to 2,000 calories a day, now he says around 2,000 calories a day, which means he, he could easily be under that. But in addition to that, he also walked for 45 minutes a day. So obviously, a man that size walking for 45 minutes, you're probably not gonna cover a lot of ground. It's probably only gonna be Oh, I don't know, three miles at the most, two or three miles, something like that. So you're probably burning off, uh, I'm spitballing here, but you're probably burning off between between two and like 350 calories maybe, maybe a little bit more because he is a little bit bigger. Um, still though, so let's take 2,000, then you minus, let's, let's go conservative here and let's say he's burning 300 calories on his walk so you take 2,000 minus 300 a day you're eating 1,700 calories a day of course you're going to lose weight the thing the thing that really gets me fired up on this one is you're teaching high school students that eating McDonald's is okay not only are you teaching them that eating McDonald's is okay you're teaching them that starvation is okay you're basically starving yourself I don't have anything personal against John Sista. I don't know him. Uh, I'm not hating on John Sista. These are just my comments and criticisms. I personally think that, okay, if you want to starve yourself, that's fine. You know, that's your business. You can go ahead and do that. But you have no right to actually teach young, impressionable students that starving yourself is okay. That it's already a problem in teenage girls, let alone you know. And now you're trying to push it on teenage boys, telling them that that you only need to eat 1,700 calories a day. I mean, this is fucking crazy. This is fucking madness. 1,700. I eat 1,700 calories in a meal, not a day, in a fucking meal. And look at me. I'm 145 pounds. It's not necessarily the amount of food that you eat that, that's making you fat. It, yes, if, if you're going to eat at McDonald's, you are going to have to drastically cut your caloric intake. If, if I'm eating 4,000 calories a day of fruit and rice or whatever I'm eating, high carbohydrate, low fat, vegan foods, plant foods, if I'm eating 4,000 calories a day on that, I don't have to worry about gaining any weight. It just doesn't happen. I've tried to gain weight. It does not happen. It doesn't matter how much I eat. I do not gain any weight. If I was eating 4,000 calories a day of McDonald's, I would easily, easily gain weight. I mean, not even, it's not even close. This is, this drives me nuts. 
And on top of that, so there was no mention on on whether this guy was he was probably jacked up on caffeine because there's no way you're going to be able to even walk 45 minutes on top of working full time on 1700 calories a day. It's just not going to happen. So this guy's obviously jacked up on caffeine, coffee, energy drinks, whatever. It's just crazy. I, I, our, our youth in this society is in so much trouble as it is. They're already getting so much bullshit advice as it is. And then you got this teacher coming in and, and telling him that it's okay to eat at McDonald's, but go ahead and starve yourself in the process if you want to actually be thin. Why don't you just teach them, you know what, you don't have to eat McDonald's. Why don't you just eat some fucking fruits and vegetables if you want to be thin? It's just fucking... In, it, insane. It just blows my mind what's going on here. And this guy's cholesterol dropped. Uh, I think he went from like 250, which is pretty fucking high up there, pretty high risk. Um, and he dropped it down to 170, which is better. It's not great, but it's better. Um, but again, there is no mention on whether or not he was on statins or anything like that. But it's the same thing. There was also a study where I, I believe it was the PIFA. Cattlemen's Beef Association or, or something like somebody like that did a study where they supposedly proved that eating beef would lower your cholesterol. Which is fucking obviously bullshit. But the problem the problem is people don't look look into these studies as, as deeply as they should. So in that particular study, what they did is they drastically cut the caloric intake. They fucking cut the calories. And yes, when you starve, when you're not eating, you will lose weight. And your cholesterol will go down because you're not eating as much cholesterol. I mean, that's obvious. It's fucking obvious. Anyway, I, I don't want to go on and on and on about this too much, but uh, I just found it fascinating that that this guy claims that that you can, in fact, eat McDonald's every day and lose weight, but you're not eating. You're eating minuscule amounts of food. Yes, if you starve yourself, you fucking will lose weight. I mean, that's just What are we what are we teaching our youth nowadays? Is what what I'm what I'm uh, really worried about here. I don't care if if some person goes out and starves themselves. That's fucking whatever, dude. That's that's your business. But do not teach kids to starve themselves and eat shitty food. It's, it's not even food. McDonald's is fucking poison. That's not food. All right? Anyway, post your comments and questions down below. Are you going to go eat McDonald's for the next 90 days in an attempt to lose weight? Are you going to cut your caloric intake to 1,700 calories a day? I know personally if I ate 1,700 calories a day, I would not have fucking energy to do anything. I was doing 1700 calories there's no fucking I, I would I'd be so if I ate 1700 calories a day I'd be like 120 pounds it'd be fucking crazy anyway hit the like button hit the subscribe button thanks for watching guys we'll see you soon